going. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new live episode of Flesh Wound Farce, where we review and discuss your and our favorite comedy films. This is the world's first and only combination trivia host and professional wrestling announcer of Chilean descent that currently resides in Southern California, Ozzy V. And with me as always on this program, first in the Northern California Bay Area, world's famous juggler, Greg Larson. Hey, how's it going, Ozzy? Oh, we'll we'll get to that. I got a I, we got a story. Of course, we always got a story on these live shows. It's these producers from these alien planet that's like there's got to be something for them to talk about on the live show. Todd knows what I'm talking about, right? Flesh room producer Todd, say hi. Um, <clears throat> Superman, punch that thumbs up for your tribal chief. That's right. That's right. I'm here to see Ozzy lose his shit. Hey, and well, also. Ozzy's Ozzy's got to be pretty happy because preseason football started. Raiders are doing well. So if tradition is like Damn it, normal, Greg, stop, 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 so stop, 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 you are such we'll a dick. Stop. You are such a dick. <laughs> you know what's really frustrating? I'm, you know, can I just break the fourth wall for a second? Is that Todd, Flesh Room producer Todd is going to be out of town. So that means we're going to be recording episodes in advance. The entire month of September is going to be done before the football season even starts. That means on the final episode of September, that 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 Monday episode, I could be of uh, higher spirits than they should be because the Raiders could be 0-4 for all I know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm the last time the Raiders were this successful in a preseason, they went two and fourteen. I wasn't even <laughs> intending to talk about football, but damn it, Greg. Okay, can, can we yeah, Let's back to this stuff. one. Uh, it, it figures they are late. Ozzy shampooing his hair on the company dime. I will correct up. you. He was not, but he did spend about five minutes combing his hair while we were waiting for him. Could you not be an, <laughs> be an asshole? Can we let me let's get, just get we this out of the way? We were having okay, we'll get to this movie Euro trip in a second. But anyway, we had we Todd and I were having dinner on, on a patio at a restaurant, right? And I understand if somebody goes out there, they have ashtrays out there, they want to smoke, that's fine, right? But he's eating some soup, I'm eating some salad, and some old dude comes by next to us. Who does he look like, Todd? You coined it. Who did he look like? from old school. He looked like Blue from old school. In fact, I got to go a step further. If you were to take Blue from old school and combine him with the dead corpse from Screwed, that's exactly what the guy looked like. (laughs) Yeah, 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 exactly. Michael Michael (laughs) Poehler. Yeah, yeah, so... He sits down at the table next to us. He pulls out some to smoke, whatever. That's fine. Except once he lights it, this was the absolute worst. Sm- this was like a cigarette he pulled out of his ass. I <laughs> swear to God, this smelled. This this was like produced in 1974 and then spent 15 years in his rectum. That's what it smelled like. And I, Todd, tell me if I'm lying. I swear to God, he started smoking that, and I looked at Todd like, oh no. Nah. This ain't going to happen. And I looked over. I said, sir, that smells terrible. Can you please smoke that somewhere else? Todd, tell me I'm lying. You're telling the truth. And I was calm, wasn't I? I was polite. Didn't I say please? You did. Okay. So what did this guy, what did Blue do? Blue went just to another table over in the corner of the patio where he kept puffing away and just had this smoke piling up in this patio. It just smelled like ass. Todd couldn't even finish his soup. I did. I yelled at the guy. Todd, did I yell at the guy? Yeah. This happened real life. You know why? Because we didn't have a story yet to tell for the live crowd. And as if I wasn't going to be upset enough. All right. Now, this week, we are reviewing and discussing the film from 2004, Euro Trip. Todd, do you have a trailer? I do. Can we please roll it? Let's roll it. For centuries, Europe has offered American tourists its culture, its culinary arts, and it's mime. Can we please just get out of here? This guy is really creeping me out. Uh, uh, uh. Now, it's payback time. <laughs> two friends, two twins, eight countries. Europe. You know, there are a lot of other empty compartments. <laughs> what, what the hell are you doing? Oh, me scusi, me scusi. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh. What? Big tunnel. 
Club Thunder Sex. There your every fantasy will be fulfilled. Yes, lady. Oh no, Thunder Sex! So, are the girls c coming back? Absent. <laughs> it's illegal in the States because it makes you go crazy. They call it the Green Fairy. Jamie's hooking up with another girl. Oh my god! <laughs> Here's a fun fact. You made out with your sister, man! <laughs> That is just wrong. <laughs> Says here this town has a famous nude beach. Let the crazy European sex odyssey begin. Lady! There's no nude no. girls here. It's just guys like us looking for Did nude you girls. see the digital shit Look they added over that, the dicks? That is our part. <laughs> we don't need no water. Let the mud. <laughs> Oi, the bloody hell you. We're from Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer time. He's a magical. I am freaking out. I'm here. Let us make love for one whole month. Mi bello. Mi bello. Mi bello. <laughs> oh, mi school. <laughs> No actual Europeans were harmed in the making of this film. All right, that was Euro Trip, released on February 20th, 2004, with a runtime of 132 minutes. Rated R, written and directed by Jeff Schaefer, Alec Berg, and Daniel Mandel, starring Scott Mecklowitz, Jacob Pitts, Michelle Trachtenberg, and a few cameos. Greg? Yes, sir. You got any initial thoughts on this one? Yeah. Um, first off, I just want to say I hate trailers like these because I think that there's so much of the movie, like so many of the great moments that are just kind of you're, you're giving it in the trailer. And, and you know, I get it's supposed to entice you, but, you know, <laughs> like it's it's it takes away like in a, a, movies have gotten much better lately in doing this in the tra trailers, but like. It really just ruins so many of the great jokes because it, it's a lot of it up front there. But I really enjoyed this film. Uh, it was fun to go through. Um, all of these types of films are fun. I love the soundtracks as always during this time frame and these kind of movies. So yeah, yeah, this this has been it was fun to revisit. Todd, um, yeah, I'm a fan of this one. Is anyone surprised? Um, though, funny thing, I didn't want this one to win the vote. I was pulling for boat trip, but <laughs> um, you know, yeah. you can't do that. You can't just say, Oh, you know, I didn't want this one. I wanted that one to win. Wink, wink, vote for that next I time. Had it ready. You jerk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we see it. All right. Um, no, I'm a big fan of this. I, uh, um, what about Ozzy? I mean, you, you don't look very happy. Well, see, the humorous thing is, uh, I mean, at the very top, at the very beginning, somebody made the comment, I'm here to see Ozzy flip out, or I'm here to see Ozzy get angry. Because usually, like, with these types of films, it's, I'm here to see Ozzy lose his shit. That's what, that's what the comment was. Because usually with these types of films, specifically released in the 80s or late 70s, tends to make me lose my shit. And uh, I wanted to swerve everybody because that is not the case with this movie. Here is the interesting thing with this. And I actually got excited once I saw who wrote it and directed it. But as I mentioned, Jeff Schaefer, Alec Berg, and Danny Mandel, all of them worked on Seinfeld and Curb. Yep. All of them at one point directed oh, wow. a Curb, or at least Alec Berg and, uh, and Jeff Schaefer had at least directed a few episodes of Curb and produced a few episodes and you had Daniel Mandel also work on uh work on Veep. So you had a pretty good combination there. So I kind of had an idea like okay, maybe this is going to be uh instead of like a stupid sex comedy, maybe you'll get some like heavy, you know, story character stuff that would happen like on an episode of Curb or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I was pleasantly surprised. There wasn't necessarily a bunch of laugh out loud moments that I had, but I was still entertained by the uh, the pacing of cameos, not like maybe cameos. It was 2004. Fred Armisen wasn't really big back then, but to see him now, 
flesh, flesh wound, wound patrons. What is that, Todd? The flesh wound patrons are the source of Ozzy's pain. Not this month, because it was not painful <laughs> to watch this movie. I was pleasantly surprised with this. Uh, but again, with, with the several cameos and the way it was used and the Scotty doesn't know song, just it set everything up for a ridiculous ride that mm -hmm. uh, that really flowed all the way through. Matt Damon, absolutely kicking off one of the various cameos that you see. Uh, so that that there was my initial thought on here. Uh, when I mentioned about the cameos, it starts with Matt Damon. All of a sudden later, you see Vinnie Jones, then Fred Armis and David Hasselhoff shows up in the trailer yes. to Greg's point. Unfortunately, uh, the trailer gave away Lucy Lawless right there. Uh, I didn't see the trailer beforehand. So seeing that for the first time was it it hit. Yeah, Diedrich Bader as a as a cameo as well. And then the trailer, you meant the you saw the absinthe and you yes. saw a green fairy. Do you guys recognize the green fairy? No, no. His name is Steve Heitner. Also known as Eric Banya. <laughs> the Hulk. Eric, no, Eric Banya, the the wants the the dinner. Oh, that's the best, Jerry. Oh, Cold Jerry. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. From Seinfeld, the Mendy's, the it. soup. No, no, no. I'm just gonna get soup. I had a sandwich earlier. No, this is the dinner, Banya. This is it. So the fact that you had these guys work come from that like realm and then bring it, bring him in, just made it was it was a fun time altogether. Uh, Big T, Big T. Todd. No, go ahead. Well, no, Big T says Todd has to do better uh, making Ozzy miserable. Uh, like I said, this was at the. Unfortunately, that was on you guys. Not enough. Of you <laughs> That's voted true. And you know what? If you notice. <laughs> Todd's subtle dickheadness is when he said, I wanted Boat Trip to win. Again, wink, wink. That's going to be the one that drives oh, no, I've made it no, I've made it no secret. I've mentioned it on numerous shows. Okay, so I've, no I'll... wink, wink. Who yes, knows? Maybe you'll, you'll no love wink, it, wink. Ozzy. I'm sorry? Maybe you'll love it. With a premise that that has, how could you not? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to write something oh, down wait, wait, because wait, I don't want to get sidetracked. Nope. I'm going to write something down about Boat Trip, and I don't want to get sidetracked. So, Greg, could you kick us off with uh, your favorite well, real moment? real quick, we got one more what? question. What, what's that? would you read it for me, please? Ozzy, what type of shampoo do you use? Oh, is this a trick question? It doesn't is matter. It, That's somebody... a Patreon. You need to be nice. No, I am hey, being hey, nice. I just figured, <laughs> like, somebody's, guess. you know, is like, it did the, you put it, that up to somebody? Is what, it what? that mane and tail or whatever no, stuff? The, no, I don't use the horse shampoo anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that got uh, a little much. Actually, what I ended up. So there's a routine that I got. Honestly, every time I wash my hair, I start out with the head and shoulders, two and one smooth and silky. I put that in there. Then uh, same juice and berries as the prince is coming to America. I wish I was that distinguished. Not yet. Maybe later after the head and shoulders. Then it's the Garnier for uh, anti frizz up to three days to shampoo there. Then the conditioner there after the conditioner. Then I put leave in conditioner with some oil and some uh, more anti-frizz cream, and I let that air dry. And I've let it be known that I should never let Todd see me in that condition, because otherwise, I end up on a t-shirt. And I can confirm, happy San Joe, I do not smell like Axe body spray. I unfortunately had a terrible encounter with somebody who sat in my car that doused himself with Axe body spray, and my car <laughs> smelled like the product. You took Dan weeks. home? Nope. No, nope, wasn't Dan, but my car did smell for two weeks. I am not exaggerating. Wow. Oh, yeah. Technically 15 days, so a little over two weeks. So, Greg, uh, favorite moment of this film, That's Zero Trip. Beautiful. I'm, you I'm Thank actually, you very much. I'm, I'm going to have two things real quick because I want to have a least favorite moment that my mm. namesake of that juggling guy needs to bring <laughs> this course. up. So yeah. in the opening credits there's a moment where there's juggling chainsaws. Now, juggling chainsaws is fine, but every animator, for some reason, when you juggle in a circle, it's called a full shower. That's the trick. That's what it's called. It's not your standard juggling a pattern, the cascade. Shower? Yes, because there's a full shower, there's a half shower, two different tricks. Anyway, um, so when juggling chainsaws, you always juggle those in the classic cascade pattern, not the full shower so just an animation frustration 
uh, for for that moment. So had to bring that up. Sorry, it's a little. So too much. you were upset because you wanted a shower, but you got a cascade. No, no, no. You I got a cascade, cascade, but you wanted a But it was you, the shower. Every you animator got the shower, does the juggling. Yes. But you got, no, you wanted the shower, but you got no, the cascade. Is that no, right? No, no. Opposite. You, you got I the love cascade. This. The chocolate axe is splendid. Ozzy, what? Dan, shut up. Anyway. <laughs> no, but then, uh, then our next comment. <laughs> axe is. Yes. Yes, it is. We agree. That is three for three. All of us agree. I completely forgot what I was getting. So, okay. No, you got the shower. You wanted yes. the cascade, right? Okay, right. Doesn't matter. Like, I'm not going to get into that. I you would probably chop it. your hand and, off if you juggled chainsaws in a shower versus a cascade. Is all I'm saying. It's not. Yeah, it's it's dumb. It's not what people do. You know what's really frustrating is I feel like um you're traversing a jungle, right? And imagine you come across like this giant ravine, and there used to be a bridge right there, and it's been sawed off in half or whatever, and you have no way across the ravine. Like on the other side of this cliff, I see the punchline that has to do with golden shower. But here I am on the other side of the ravine that can't find a connection whatsoever. And it's driving me insane. All right. Now, favorite moment of the film. Actual favorite moment. Oh, there's so many to choose from. Um, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to take it. I'm pretty sure someone else probably feels the same way. But scoozy. Like... <laughs> That's all I will you gotta say, say. I will say uh, when that was happening during the trailer and I was trying to swerve everybody and, and no sell everything, that was one of the hardest points yeah. where I had to clench my jaw uh, was every Fred Armisen moment as the creepy Italian man. <laughs> Todd? All right. Well, Todd's going to be good. <laughs> but, I don't know what that means. Well, I'm going to tell you my favorite line. <clears throat> All right. Could have like cleared your throat away from the mic, <laughs> or do you have like a up, sign? You have a sign right under continue. your mic. No, I'm just curious. Do you have a sign under your mic that says "Clear throat here"? No, I was. And then, do you have a bullseye <sighs> right under the microphone? I just. All right. Do, do I just need to mute Ozzy? All right. Um, <laughs> but the line I I got I watched a gay porno and the girl and didn't know the girls yeah. never came. <laughs> the girls never came. <laughs> I I couldn't stop laughing on that one. The way the girls never came. <laughs> Okay. Uh, if if you guys have a favorite line out there in the chat, go for it. Absolutely. Please feel free. Favorite line, favorite scene. Uh I don't want to get too much into it because this is probably one of the few things that it does not give away. But when you hear the Pope say, what the hell? That was probably <laughs> just being raised Catholic. That just hit me so hard that uh, I lost a little bit of oxygen a little bit and saw a few spots. But like I said, it wasn't really a movie that was filled with these laugh out loud moments. There'd be like, you know, yet your high points, but it was it really felt story driven more than anything else. Um, if there was kind of odd thing uh, to say about it was why would they go in such an odd direction? Why not just go straight to Berlin? But hey, you know, it's supposed to be. I mean, at the very beginning of the movie, it kind of sets you up for that with the song. Scotty doesn't know that sets you up for what's exactly going to happen. And I just wanted to note the their friend Jenny, played by Michelle Trachtenberg, when he says, I really need to get laid by some drunk chick. And she's like, Hey, I'm right here. No, you're just a dude with long hair. Right. <laughs> we had, a, we had a friend like that in high school named Jenny, who we consider just half a man. Cause she liked sports and just, she was that character. You know what I mean? She'd say she's a girl, but no, you're, you're just a man. You're just a dude with long or a girl, a dude with long hair. That's all. So Come I got the Pope saying what the hell going into, yeah, except I have facial hair, so there's that. Anyway, moving into the ratings. Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, while I did enjoy this, it wasn't at a heightened level where I was glued from start to finish, but I did enjoy it enough to rate it a four out of five for me. Awesome. So, yeah. Solid I, I... four for me, Greg. Definitely agreeing with you. Um, it's 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 a good four. Um, there's a lot of great moments to it. Um, you know, I I bordered four four and a half because um, there was a lot 
of really funny moments. Um, and uh, I mean, just the moment where it's like, a nickel, I quit. <laughs> you know, like, that was great. Like, there were a lot of great laugh out loud moments. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with four and a half. It, it was it was fun enough for me to to really pump that up a little bit more. I'm also four and a half. I do really like this one. Um, I do want to also give a shout out for the the uh, confessional ass was pretty funny too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> although although the cut from it being inside the pew on one wall to then like outside on the door. I was like, ah, I don't know. Editing wise, that was a little weird, but it was still funny. <laughs> what? Look, look, I was critical after the juggling scene. It happened. Like I was analyzing it far too much. There, has there ever been a perfect juggling scene in any movie? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I know. I know what an Assassin's Creed. One of the things about Assassin's Creed. Movie, like the yeah. movie Assassin's no, Creed? No, no. It was the game. Like I said, movie. Is there any movie that has. Yeah, typically. Like, that, is, most, that is the juggling you want. It's always <laughs> when it's animated. Like if, if you're juggling real life and you're doing the shower, that's fine. Whatever. Like, but it's it's always when it's animated. They do the circle. They've done it since Looney Tunes. You know, it's, it's a thing. It's easier to animate. I get it. It's just. And it is a trick, technically. So it's fine, but yeah, when you're doing chainsaws, just don't, just don't do that. I see. You gotta, yeah. you gotta go the cascade. That's right. That's right. So cascade, even a half shower, cars. half shower is even fine, but full shower not happening. <clears throat> Damn it! <Sorry>. Still, still <laughs> can't, maybe maybe still can't I get find that bridge. Maybe I can get Ozzy to get a little angry. Big Wait. T. <laughs> Uh, listen, Dan is everywhere on this freaking network. Can we just have one freaking show without the hat? In Dan fact, has been on his own channel. <laughs> in fact, if you really want to see me lose my shit, you can go see some old episodes of KFWF Radio. Uh, and there's plenty of episodes where uh, I, well, one particular episode, Dan tries to argue with me that Brock Lesnar is a legitimate animal. <laughs> and That's I just right. remember getting so upset. I'm I'm finding so, it right now, so I can share that for anyone who wants to hear. There, there, there you go. Uh, so anyhow, but we got our ratings in there. Four, four, four. It was a four, four and a half, four and a half. Now, I did make a note earlier about boat trip, and we did have a commenter saying, "I'm here to see Ozzy lose his shit." Now, when Todd told me about boat trip, I I had no idea what I knew it had. Cuba Gooding Jr. That's it. And then he told me about Boat Trip. He told me about Boat Trip right before Blue sat down to smoke his piece of shit cigar. So he told me Bo Boat Trip came out in 2006 or so. And it's about two guys, Cuba Gooding Jr. Jr. and Horatio Sands, that accidentally end up on a gay cruise. And it's completely filled with homophobic jokes. So I that would really... Is. Well, I mean, you, you sold it like it is, but here's what really pisses me off is that comes out at a time like really when that when the ship is really turning course, pun intended, because it's boat movie, whatever. But the fact that this dude's Chilean and that was the biggest role he had. What the fuck? Come on. I just lost my headset there. You always got snooky, man. You always got snooky. That go. doesn't count. <laughs> What that, is the I know there is no claim for that because that <laughs> she is that, a bigger star. No, no, you know, Horatio Sands, but you know who's a bigger star? <laughs> Who? Pedro Pascal, the okay. Mandalorian. Well, then she's He's the top 100% star. Chilean. All right, <laughs> so kiss my ass, kiss so my got, Chilean ass. So you got him and Snooki, there's your top two. <laughs> okay, shut up. All right, so that was Euro Trip. Check it out. Is it streaming anywhere, Todd? It is on digital. You can get the DVD or Blu. The Blu-ray just came out for the, the unrated version. Just came out. Yeah, we didn't mention we did watch the unrated version. There is a, a an R-rated version, but I imagine the R-rated version would have less of the uh, thunder the... sex scene. Yeah, there's that, and then some of the nude beach has a little extra. Oh, um, right. Like you mentioned during the trailer. So anyone that was paying attention during the trailer, uh, there was a nude beach scene. And Todd had mentioned, look at all the digital stuff they added. 
is because in the actual film, the unrated film we saw. We... Uh, no, the nudity still in the in the radio. That's... All that? Not all, all of it. it. No, but the, the shot of that the... shot is in it. Yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, I just want to say. That looks cause... like an Italian deli. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason dicks is okay i guess so but so you, you see more warning, dicks in movies now than you do anything else which is yeah that that needs to stop um <laughs> but todd had warned me about things going on um and it was funny because this weekend uh i attended a wedding and so my mother-in-law was up in the area and so jackie goes and she goes uh, and I told her, I was like, hey, sometime this weekend, I got to watch these movies, you know, for the show. And uh, she goes, well, are any of them ones that we could watch with the family? <laughs> I was just like, it no. <laughs> so thank you, Todd, uh, for definitely saving me for. Yeah, I didn't potential. I didn't warn you on, on next week. So I, I know you already know the content oh, of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Referencing next week's episode, we will be reviewing and discussing the sequel to Clerks, Clerks 2, as later in the week. Oh, look at Greg putting the movie's jersey on display. But as Clerks 3 will be releasing in theaters, select theaters. What, what's the official technical term of that? It's a, it's a, it's it's a, a roadshow. What's, what's going it's on? It's a top? fathom of There's the fathom event, which is uh, and now it's uh, a week in theater, five days in theaters. Mm -hmm. And then there's the road show that Kevin Smith travels around to different places and, you know, does his, his show and then shows the movie. If you're hearing this for the first time, you're like, wait, what the hell is going on? Just what I'd re I'd recommend doing, just open Fandango. They're not a sponsor, whatever, but you can, you know, just say, hey, whatever. But uh, go to Fandango and just type in Clerks 3 and it'll give you the nearest show times for you. That's how I found mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm go. looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to next week's episode where we will review and discuss Clerks 2. However, this week's live episode has ended. Now, next month, we will not have a live episode as the final Monday of the month is Halloween. Now, I was totally on board. Greg was totally on board. Somebody was like, I don't want to do a Halloween show. I'm not saying who that was. I'm just saying somebody, somebody, somebody. Not me, not Greg. There's a reason why the ghost isn't in this episode. So he's he boycotting. Was... Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. However, however, you'll still have an opportunity to vote for a horror comedy that we will put out on Halloween. Is that right, Todd? That is correct. We're, I, we're still narrowing down the selections. I've asked the group. I think we're, we're going to shoot for something that actually lands on Halloween or Halloween time, not just a random horror comedy, since it is Halloween. Okay. okay. Ernest no, scared we'll stupid. Oh, well, let's not. Let, I mean, you know, as, as long as it's not a stupid sequel to the, the, the cadaver piece of crap, I <laughs> yes, swear to God. Everybody. Uh, Lost Skeleton. I will have everyone, to get paid money doesn't matter. to watch I, that sequel. Vote everyone vote for Halloween Return School. The sequel. <laughs> Did you just say Halloween School? Yeah. Oh, that title just pisses me off. <laughs> God damn, what the hell? Okay, it was, so it doesn't exist. I was now, just, like uh, I said, if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, I want to vote, where can I vote? You got to be a Patreon member, but you can be a Patreon member starting at a dollar, and a dollar gets you a vote for next works, next month's vote. Rather, Ben Grimm never work on a holiday. I understand that. Todd, the most but, you important know. holiday. The one All right, time a year. Shine with another. <laughs> Roman Reigns joke. Now we we talk about the most important holiday, but ladies and gentlemen, I got to be honest. Okay, let's not get carried away with this. Okay, I'm not. Oh, we're all ready. This is, igniting on this is, this is not, another one. I'm not. We keep, I'm not yes. I've gotten I'm a few not, requests I'm for not, this. I'm not. I'm not looking See, forward to next month. I'm going to say it like this. This live. one might. This one at might least torture it's not me. Live. <laughs> so, but anyway, so Ben Grimm with Medea Boo to. Okay, see, we'll get there, all right? But be sure to be a Patreon member, because if you're not a Patreon member, you can't vote. And if you can't vote, you can't help piss me off. Now, Todd, you mentioned a new shirt. Is there a new shirt oh, for yes. sale? There is. I so, is, is, is there any stupid Photoshop on it? Is, it has nothing to do with you. On it <laughs> it has nothing to do Good. with you. Good. But this is, okay. this is, here we go. Okay, what's this a new brand shirt? new shirt. Only Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I apologize that I that I'm making a suggestion right here live, but why isn't there a fedora on the O? 
I was hmm. thinking the same thing. <laughs> uh oh. Well, maybe we'll have to do a limited one. See, even when he's not here, I'll get it. I'll get. God damn it, Dan. <laughs> Fedora on the O. What are you doing? That's the hat's his thing. Have you ever seen him without his hat? Has anyone have, in Flesh Wound World seen him without his hat? Weird. It's like totally. Anyone in Flesh Wound World seen him without his hat? <laughs> no, he's always has hat. So I he can have a shirt. He should have the hat. If I gotta have my hair wet like whatever the on a shirt, he should have a shirt with the stupid hat. Do you know it? You're not wrong. <laughs> All right. Well, that concludes this week's episode. Tune in next week where we will hmm. review and discuss Clerks 2. Greg, Todd, anything else before we head out for the evening? No, no. Just uh, remember, never juggle chainsaws in a full shower. Not a full shower cascade. Cascade. Yes. And if you're doing a golden shower, do a golden cascade instead. I don't know. Then that. you do a That's, circumcision. I'm trying to get and... to the other side. And I just couldn't. I just flew you know just no reason whatsoever to to the other side of the punchline todd anything else i'm not taking all the heat for this one i knew ozzy was gonna like this one in the long run so pick better guys <laughs> there you go my mortal enemy todd trying to give me a stroke on this show but hey, go clicks. ahead join the patreon if you haven't already patreon.com slash flesh wound features and we'll be back next week with a new episode right here on Flesh Wound Farce. For Greg, Todd, and Ozzy, we'll see you next week.